Hey everyone, so today we are doing chapter six, groups and organizations. And so today we'll just go through some basic concepts about what is groups, what does that mean, what types of groups are there, and then we'll have another lecture for the rest of the chapter. And so what is a group? A group is a collection of people who share some attribute, identify with one another, and interact with each other. So some social groups provide the values, norms, and rules that guide people's lives. And so what's interesting here is we're going to have different types of group. But here you can see that they, you have to have some identity with each other and interact with each other. What's interesting is that we'll have something like a crowd. Uh, so it's a temporary gathering of people in a public space. And so, but the, what's different here is that these people won't identify with each other, right? It's not like they're going to remain friends, but let's say there's uh, someone playing an instrument in the street, right? And they're trying to get money. And so people gather around in a crowd. Or if you think about like high school days, is there's a fight. People gather. Or there's an argument. Or something. <laughs> people want to, they know, see, they want to know what's going on. All right. And so a crowd. And then, so then you have an aggregate, a collection of people who share physical location but do not have a lasting social relation. So something like, being in line at Starbucks, being in line at Disneyland, things where you're going to share physical space, but you're, for the most part, you're not going to have any lasting relationships. I mean, you may have some interaction. You're like, oh, hey, how you doing? Or be like, oh, man, it's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I don't know, right? You're just interacting with people in space, but for the most part, you're not going to continue interacting then you have another type of group which is a category and i think this one is interesting so people who share similar characteristics but are not tied to um one another in any way so something like millennials right so we have this grouping of people who are always talking talking mess about right <laughs> i was gonna say something else but um and we're like, all oh, these millennials ruined avocado, they ruined whatever. I don't know. I don't know what kind of stuff they're saying about millennials nowadays. Right? Similar characteristics, really tying into age group and maybe uh, interaction or use of in technology, different things like that. Um, but it's not like all of us are really going to be interacting with all the millennials that, you know, in the country. So I think that's a very interesting um, uh, concept term as well. We have primary groups. Primary groups involves the most face-to-face -face interaction and they have the deepest sense of belonging. And so this is gonna be easiest to remember because it's your family, right? Your primary group, you're gonna have the biggest sense of connection to them. And so what's interesting with primary groups is that these groups serve an expressive function because it's based on your emotional needs, it's based on your connection, right? On love. Oh what do here and so this is more of an instrumental function and in that it is goal oriented and not emotional like your primary groups all right social inter uh, social networks so no social networks is a web of direct and indirect connecting an individual to other people so your social network is um it's not um it's like your ties, indirect and direct ties. So your family, your friends, your colleagues, your teachers, your co-workers. Then you have this like second layer of like your friends of your friends. And so different things like that. So this kind of creates a big web that is your social network. N not in the, you're on your social network, you're on Facebook, you're on Instagram. But in really in, in the literal terms of like, who is your network? If you're looking for a job, where, where would you go? Right? Who are the people you would contact? And to kind of set a web or a net out there of finding of finding who's who can help you. Separate groups, enemy or virtual membership. And so I think when we're talking about groups that tend to be face to face group, but with the rise of technology, it's completely changing um, groups, right? Because now we can have memberships online and you know websites and discussion boards and all these different things that we create community with people online so i guess it 
the question here, just to think about for your own sense, is like, you know, does this virtual space create more disconnect because people are disconnected face to face, or does it create more, um, more connection? I don't know. Those are kind of discussions. Is it creating more enemy, or is it just building a wider sense of community in other spaces? Group dynamics are patterns of interactions between groups and individuals. And so this is going to include how do groups form? How do they bond? How do they fall apart? And then how do groups influence other members? How are we making people, you know, kind of conform? In groups and out groups. So an in group is a person that identifies with and feels loyalty towards a group. An out group is a group that a person feels opposition, rivalry, or hostility toward. And so what's happening with groups is that because you're trying to create a strong bond within the group that you're in, what, what it ends up happening is that you start othering other groups, right? And now it's you're like rivals. You're like, that's my enemy over there, right? And so that's kind of de facto what happens when you're creating a strong in-group in whatever organization group that you're in. And so I like to think of things like uh, like mean girls, right? It's like you're creating an in-group within, you know, whatever clique you're a part of. And then by default, all everyone else can kind of just, they just become out groups. They become the problem, the enemy, the othering, you know, and that's kind of what happens through grouping like this in our society. Okay, uh, so different types of groups. So you have a dyad, which means two members in a group. And this is gonna be the smallest um, type of group. And it's really going to be the most unstable because if one group, if one person decides to leave the group, then it's not a group. It's just a person. So it's going to be the most vulnerable to uh, falling apart. Then you have a triad, a three person group. And then it's, of course, it's more stable than a dyad. And, and this is really because if the third, if you have a conflict between two people, you have the third person that can come in and try to facilitate the problem and, and kind of... Um, help help the situation that way you don't become a dyad group cohesion the sense of solidarity or loyalty that individuals feel towards a group to which they belong group think is a tendency of being a very cohesive group to enforce a high degree of conformity among members creating a demand for unanimous agreement and so how do we create, you know, uh, going back, back in and out groups is going to be through group cohesion and group think. Reference groups. And so when we're talking about, I guess, in and out groups um, and this idea of hierarchy of groups is a reference group, a group that provides a standard of comparison against which people evaluate themselves. And so these are the people that we're looking to how can we emulate them how can we be more like them and so yeah so this in itself who are the role models in society right and we could think it could be athletes for us it can be celebrities it can be you know um, people with wealth and so there will be a few different reference group but within you know different groups or different regions different societies they'll have different reference groups and so uh, that wraps up this lecture. I'll finish up, um, there'll be one more, and it'll be about this time, eight to 10 minutes. I hope you enjoyed it. I will talk to you soon. Bye.